What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper 2. If you're enjoying this series, make sure to leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Today we're doing something that we've all been waiting for for a very, very long time. And that is finally renovating the house that we're standing in Rat Meow and getting it put up on the market. We did try to do this a while back, but at that time it wasn't possible to sell this property. And I'll be honest, I haven't really looked into it to see if it is now. So I really hope this isn't going to be a complete and total waste of time, but our first order of business is going to be here on the main floor, starting with the living room. To be honest, don't really hate this woodwork, really hate this stuff. So I think that's going to be the first to go. I've extended all the woodwork down to the floor, the woodwork that I did like down to the floor. As for this middle section here, we're just going to paint over it with some white paint. I think it'll look way, way better. I should also mention we're not going to be going crazy on this thing today. We're, we're definitely going to keep it pretty light on the decor because honestly, I'm pretty eager to get the heck out of this place and get into our new home slash office. Oh, ain't no way. Dude, I honestly completely forgot. This room used to be just littered, just completely covered with zebra wallpaper and not zebra like the pattern either as you can tell right here that is or those are zebra feet let me see if i can get the whole pattern so we can just see it one last time dude it's terrible it's so bad we're gonna go ahead and just cover this all up uh what Yo, who left the cookie here? We're only gonna get one dollar for it? That's at least a two dollar cookie in my book, but there we go. So the main floor, almost done. Already almost done. We've repainted this room. It used to be red, but the paint was peeling. It looked really, really gross. The garage did used to be gray, so we've basically just redone it as it was originally. The living room's looking better. I'm not as crazy about these, though, now that we don't have any woodwork around the base. So I, I might end up adding some additional woodwork. Maybe. That is, a, that is a definite maybe. This has all been repainted just in white as well. Like I said before, we're not going to go crazy on this. I just want to get it to a, a, a point where it's sellable, you know? Get it to a point where somebody would actually want to buy it. We do have a light switch back in here. This is our laundry room, I guess. But we only have either a washer or a dryer. I'm not really sure which one that is. Probably a washer. So yeah, let's just repaint under here, I suppose. And then we'll start editing these kitchen cabinets. I feel like the, the best thing to do is just leave them in their current configuration, but change them so they actually look good. We might even keep them blue. And then once we finish that, we can start messing with the floor a little bit, because I'm not really a big fan of this patterned wood floor stuff. Um, I am, however, going to need another can of white paint. Uh-oh. Don't tell me these aren't salvageable, dude. Are you kidding? Hang on, could we, like, clean them or something? No. Okay, so, unfortunately, every cabinet, I think except for this one in the corner has to get sold oh and this guy and maybe the one just below it yeah they're gonna have to get sold and replaced though all these all these other ones that is unfortunate that is unfortunate dude i was thinking we were gonna save a lot of time on this oh we even have some some glasses in there some mugs nice honestly didn't even know that those were in there but the the top ones i mean the pattern on them doesn't look very great anyways but that is kind of a bummer. One minute, 37 seconds later. This little kitchen, dude, is looking so much better already. Obviously, I did decide to keep the blue cabinets, which is a questionable decision. But it could end up looking decent when we have the floor finished and our backsplash as well. Speaking of backsplash, of course, I'm going to do a white subway tile. One of the mods actually in the previous House Flipper episode commented and said that I am deep in the pockets of quote-unquote big subway tile which is accurate. Uh, they, they did get to me. You'd better run before they get to you too. What the heck is this? We got a sticky note behind the refrigerator, dude. It says, hi, my future self, because no one else 
cleans here. Well, joke's on you, uh, past self. I'm not cleaning there. I'm actually just trying to get my subway tile done so I can fulfill my contract with big subway tile. We've gone with more of a narrow, natural oak hardwood floor, which is something I wouldn't usually choose, but because this house already has so much dark wood in it, I kind of felt like we needed something to lighten up the space a little bit, and I think this is gonna do the trick for us. So we have that in the kitchen, the laundry room, whatever the heck this room is supposed to be, and then of course, the main entrance. And as you can probably tell, I've decided to add carpet in the living room for a change because it exists now. It's a thing, and there for a while, we didn't have carpet as an option, so kind of glad that that's been added. But now, the main floor is basically complete. We'll come through and do very minimal furnishings at the, at the very end of things, but now we can start to work on the second floor, and up here needs a lot of work. This room's actually probably fine. I might just get a new office chair, because that thing's looking a little ratty. The floor could use changed as well. We'll probably end up doing that same uh, natural oak hardwood floor that we did down on the main floor. It's... never mind. I was going to say it's maybe not so bad, but it's still going to be quite a bit of work. And then I will, of course, get rid of the terrazzo floor in there. Not a fan of that whatsoever. We've got a chimney in what I think is the master bedroom. Does that line up with our... oh, it totally does. With our fireplace in the basement? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna leave that there then. Probably just retexture it, recolor it, something like that. We've still got our little buddy here staring out the window. I'm gonna shut up and uh, get to work. We're gonna start painting everything probably white, I'll be honest. Two very boring minutes later. Several gallons of paint later, and now the second floor is looking just as good as the main, if not better. But we've continued the hardwood floor up here into every room where it makes sense to do that. So basically every room except for the bathroom. But what I think we need to do now is start going around and replacing some of these doors because the master bedroom door doesn't even match the other doors. Like the, the wood color and texture is the same, but the actual pattern of the door, very different. Not only that, but it has a broken door handle, dude. We can't, we can't work with that. We couldn't possibly work with that. And like all the, the door frames are just an odd wood color. I'm not really feeling that. So I might change the beam color up here for whatever we end up changing the door frame color to. I did adjust the little hallway pantry, closet, shelving unit, whatever you want to call that. I did change it up slightly and just kind of made it fit in the space a little bit better. But apart from doors and trim and stuff like that. Maybe I'll make my rounds and start replacing some of the stuff that's not really salvageable, like those two things. And then of course the office chair in our, in our personal bedroom. So we'll see you guys here in just a few more minutes. Moments later. Oh, I understand now why the master bedroom door was different than the others. It was an exterior door and those are like one block wider than the interior doors. So they were only doing that so it would, you know, fill the entire width of this hallway. I'm going to I'm going to make an executive decision. I don't like the mismatched doors. In fact, I would I would rather have just a like a weird gap in the wall here. So we're just going to fill this in. We'll paint it up and we'll never think about it or speak of it again. One hour later. We'll do a real quick walkthrough of the second floor and all the new changes, but then we need to make our way outside ASAP because the exterior of this property is really what's going to take the longest. So starting off down here with our office chair, it's been swapped out. It's been replaced. The beams up above also been swapped out for the same darker wood that we've kind of started to use throughout the property, but I'm not upset about it. It totally works. Uh, down the main hallway here into the bathroom. We got a new turlet. Doesn't have a bidet though. As you guys would have learned a few days ago on stream, I'm a bidet guy now. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> I can't include that, can I? Yeah, what the heck? I don't really care. So new sink, uh, new wood type on the mirror, the shelf, and the windows. I did start to go around and adjust all the windows. However, we will still have to add shutters back to a couple of them on the exterior. Moving into the master bedroom, all I did was reskin the chimney. I don't know if marble was really the move, but we used it elsewhere in the property, so I suppose it's it's not the worst material. This is still just a closet. This is still just whatever this room is supposed to be. 
And that's it. That's the second floor now complete. So let's book it on outside. And we've got to get going on this. It's going to need resided for sure. The siding's like discolored in some spots and the texture doesn't really match everywhere. Uh, the columns out front are going to be super easy. We're just going to recolor them the same uh, wood texture and color that we've been using elsewhere. Roof, probably same thing. Chimney can stay. I don't think that looks bad. But this lower portion siding, I don't know if that's the right term for that, but all this darker stuff along the bottom edge. I'm going to try to leave it at first. If I end up hating it, we can change it to something else or perhaps just side the whole rest of the thing but i'm gonna i'm gonna try to roll with it and also before we start working i need to sleep because it's getting very very dark it's finally finished and i think it looks a whole heck of a lot better than it did when we started we were able to keep this dark blue i guess you would call this exterior wainscoting around the whole uh around the whole building and i was able to tie in that dark blue color with the shutters that we had to add and it just worked perfectly dude i think this place turned out phenomenal however there's one more thing we have to do before we can turn around and sell this place and that is buy a new one the one i've got my eye on is over the garage right here for a measly fifty-one thousand bucks so we're gonna go ahead and buy that and then now we need to basically move our office here and hopefully we can sell this place can we oh, thank goodness that means all the work that we put in today wasn't for nothing. But remember, a while back, this wasn't a possibility, which is why we held on to the property for so long. So, house purchase price, $87,000, which our parents actually paid for. So this is going to be a, a lot of money in our pocket, which is sick. Uh, sold items, $20,000. So we cleared out $20,000 worth of, of stuff in the house before. And then we spent $21,000 on renovation. We'll put it up for auction for 50 bones, and we'll see who's the highest bidder. It's going to be Lauren right here. That'll put $45,000 in our pocket, so 45 k profit, and then the, the purchase price of the house is going to be $132,000. I am really looking forward to seeing these before and after photos, dude. It's going to be wild. Look at that thing bunch of newspapers in the front wait did i forget to shut the front door for real <laughs> it's fine it's fine in a bunch of empty rooms so it doesn't seem like like in in the original game house flipper one it seemed like we would kind of get docked points or our our clientele wouldn't really know what certain rooms were unless we had certain pieces of furniture in them a bedroom for example needed to have at least a bed to be counted as a bedroom doesn't seem like we have to do that in House Flipper 2, which I am a big, big fan of. That basically means we could just go around flipping houses and not have to furnish them whatsoever. I mean, IRL, if you're flipping houses, you're probably not going to furnish the thing. Maybe a little bit just to, like, get people in the door and, and actually check it out. But uh, speaking of getting in the door and checking it out, let's check out our new pad. Actually, our new office. What is this? Yo, were they building a little skate park or something back here? That's kind of sick. We got a bunch of skateboards everywhere. A bunch of pallets as well. They were definitely, definitely trying to do something. Oh, maybe this is from just the neighborhood kids. Got a little bit of spray paint on the walls too. And is that soap? Is it spray paint or is it soap? I'm confused as to why there's soap on the ground. Guess it doesn't really matter. We're going to end up cleaning everything up anyways. Didn't really get a good look at the driveway either. It is in shambles. Okay, so next episode, we've got our work cut out for us for sure. We got a bunch of graffiti that we need to get rid of. We got to, like, repave our whole driveway and the sidewalk next to it. Let's head upstairs. We'll see what we've got going on in here. The wallpaper has to go. I mean, let's be real. We're going to end up deleting and demolishing all of the walls in this place since it's actually going to be our place. It's seen some things. Might have some demons in here lurking around. Wallpaper's peeling over there. This room, though, is gorgeous, dude. That's going to make a fantastic, fantastic master bedroom. I might even end up just leaving all the railing open in there so it doesn't have to be walled up. 
think that might be a pretty solid look. But anyways, that is unfortunately where we're going to have to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.